All right, this is standard three. We're going to be customizing some graphic objects within our document. I'm using the text of the Declaration of Independence, and I've already put a picture in here and another one at the bottom. I'll show you how we use those in just a moment here. So let's start with the first thing they want me to show you is the word art. So I'm going to highlight this title up here. And that's kind of boring by itself. So if I go to my Insert tab and I come over here to Word Art, Word Art will allow us allow me to pick a different style of text here. So there we have in Congress, July 4th, 1776. It's nice and gold. You can see I have a contextual menu that pops up here because I'm selected on a drawing. And I can just come in here and I can look and see if maybe I want to have a different look for my Word Art. I kind of still like this one here. You see I have a problem. Also, Word is really good at treating everything on the page just like it's a letter unless we tell it otherwise so this could be the same letter or number or symbol as anything else on the document it could be an A or a 3 or whatever so this being a graphic when I click on it gives me this layout options I have two choices I can either come into here and I can say hey look don't wrap it with my text I want you to wrap it so that it's on top and bottom and then I can move this around you can see it's pushed the the word the back down here or I could have just grabbed the document here or excuse me the graphic here and just scoot it over and then that would have pushed it back down so that was the first thing was the the word art we can go in and change that just by clicking on it and again we go up to our contextual menus let's add a drop cap so it looks all fancy I'm gonna highlight the T here in the word the and go back to insert and let's put a drop cap in so I can either drop the cap in this way, make it look big, or I could do it off in the margin of the, of the document here. I actually prefer the drop cap. Looks all nice there. Let's go in though and let, let's change this. If I go back into drop cap and I go to my options, if I want this a little bit bigger, it's allowing me to change the number of lines that I want to have drop down. So it looks even bigger. So that's a drop cap. You can use it just kind of make your document look a little bit better. And next up, we're going to be looking at how to format a graphic within a document. Now, again, this works in Excel, PowerPoint, uh, Access, what limited I have used in that of Access for, for pictures. But I click on the picture, and it gives me some contextual menu. Again, I have my layout options, so I can, you can see I've already made this so that it uh, puts, there's just the top and the bottom, there's nothing to each side of it. That way I don't have the text wrapping down each side of the box. I'm going to click again on the picture and go to my picture tools and I can format. Now I can do a couple of things in here. Uh, if the picture was too big and I didn't want to see the whole thing, I come over here to crop, pull down my crop menu, and it's going to pull out these special handles. And with these special handles, I just grab the edge and I can make it so I don't see quite as much of the room so it's not quite so tall. And you can see behind what it's doing with my text. Let's move that down. Uh, again back on my picture maybe I want to put it in a frame I can have a couple of different options here and if I want to see all of them I pull this down so I have different things I can do here let's just put it in a, a metal frame I can change the border on the picture the effects um, there's some other things I can do I can put some artistic effects on this picture let's open those up and look at them so I can make it look like it's been painted, I can make it look pixelated. So I have some different options here of things I can do to make my pictures look a little bit more different or interesting. That's a pencil sketch. I kind of like that. We'll leave the pencil sketch. And then I can also do some color changes to it if I wanted to make it look different. Maybe they're on fire. I don't know. So I have some different options here different colors but just different things that I can do with my graphic let's come down here to this last one and I'll show you one more thing I hate when I see in a PowerPoint you've got a colored background and someone has taken a picture straight off of the internet and they've plopped it right down the middle of the PowerPoint and it's still got the background so it's got a white background in the middle of a nice slide it it looks amateurish so what I'm going to do is show you how to take that out I'm going to click again on this picture, and it brings up my picture tools. Uh, 
On the far left, I have Remove Background, and I really like this tool. The Remove Background tool allows me to look at a picture and try to take some parts out of it. So I'm in a, a menu here. I can mark some different areas to keep if I wanted to keep the very edge of this. That would pull that in. That looks terrible. Let's just discard those changes. Let's go back to remove my background. That's pretty close enough. If I keep my changes, what I've done is I've gotten rid of that background. So now it matches the rest of my document. And I can just make this wrap. Uh, where's my type? Make this wrap tightly. You can see I've got that there. I could put it someplace else if I wanted to. But it takes the background out. So you can still see there's something in there. Uh, we've just been able to remove that, though, so that it looks a little bit better in a PowerPoint. It, it, make, it looks a lot better. All right, a couple more things we can do with the graphics while we're in here, then we'll be done. Again, clicking on my graphic, going to the contextual menu here. I have some options. I can add a border to the picture. So maybe if I need to put a border on it here and make that border thicker, I can do that. Um, I can go into some picture effects and I can put a reflection in here. And this lets your preview to see what it looks like. I can put a glow around it. Uh, a lot of different things we can do. I can bevel it. I can rotate it. Let's start to rotate a little bit here. So a lot of different picture effects that you can get into. Um, I'm also going to show you how we can rotate your picture. Sometimes you just need to flip the picture. Maybe not up and down, but maybe horizontally here. That just looks wrong. I've seen it the correct way so many times. So there are a lot of different options in here. Get in here and play with them and uh, take a look at it. You can really make your pictures look a lot better than what you're pulling off of the Internet. Okay, I failed to look at my notes. So I've actually got to show you two more things and we're done with this video. Uh, the first one is going to be shapes. So I can go to my insert tab and here we have our shapes. I'll come in. I'm going to find an arrow. Maybe I want to really highlight some of the things that have been done here by the king. So I'm going to start to draw my shape in here. And again, it opens up my contextual menu so I can change my, my shape color. And I'm going to change the outline of my... Uh, maybe we'll make that outline yellow so it kind of stands out a little bit differently. I can also change these orange dots right here, allow me to change some things about it. I can make this thinner or thicker. Let's make that like this. I can also make the arrowhead look bigger or smaller, depending upon what I want to do. So I'll kind of leave it where it was, but we can modify a shape that way, those special handles. I can also rotate it a little bit if I needed to put an accent there. So again, I have a contextual menu here. Uh, I can do some different things with this. Uh, last thing I need to show you is I need to show you text boxes. So again, we're going to be going to the Insert tab. And here I have the Insert text box. I can choose from some that are already created for me. I can look at them. I can see something that's already on the sidebar. Uh, it puts some formatting in with it. Or here's just a simple text box. I'm going to use this Austin quote and place it in here. Okay, so it's going to put some emphasis on it. And maybe I want to emphasize that in a lot of times he has kept the colonists from having a trial by jury. So I'm going to highlight this text here using a control C to copy it. Click in here, use a control V to paste it down. Okay, and there I have for depriving us in many cases the benefits of trial by jury. And again, it's got the same formatting tools I can use here for moving it around. Okay, so that it's moving with the text. I have a contextual menu that I can change other things. I could change my text direction if I wanted to. That would really mess things up, but I can change the shape of it. A lot of things like that. So that is the end of our third standard on customizing graphics.